Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to export materials outside of Substance 3 Designer and into Unreal Engine 4. Uh, so let's begin. First things first, make sure your package is saved. And second thing, I'm gonna utilize, I'm gonna expose some parameters because I, I want to utilize them inside Unreal Engine and I want to show you how you can do too. So uh, with this, click on the node you want to expose and go expose this new graph input. I'm just gonna call this rock normal intensity and click OK. And after this, do the same for this, expose a new graph input and this is gonna be grass intensity. There we go, click OK. And now we have our exposed parameters. So now we wanna publish SBSR file and click here click right click on the stylized cobblestone or whatever your um, package is publish sbsr file and now you will uh, have a file path select what you want and click on publish i already have one so i'm just going to replace it doesn't matter so before we even launch uh, unreal editor we need to make sure we install one plugin go to the epic games marketplace and search for substance and it's gonna pop up Substance 3D for Unreal Engine. It's completely free plugin, so just just install it and uh, get it going. Okay, now that we are inside Unreal Engine 4, we are not done yet. We need to go to the plugin section and search for Substance, our plugin, and click on Enable. And now we just need to restart the editor real quick. Okay, so now we finally have everything set up here. So what we want to do is grab our SPSR file and drag it into Unreal Engine. Now, since we have multiple grass, you can record here, uh, base, dirt and grass layers, uh, it's gonna pop out with multiple templates as you can see. So we don't want the base instance, so we click cancel, we don't want the dirt, dirt instance, so we click cancel again. But we do want our grass instance here, and we, we click on import, and it's gonna import real quick with everything we need for this. So, as you can see, we have a few files, we have our maps here. Uh, already set up material and a few files that you may not know what they do. So let's open the red one and here we can just real quick select height because we want to utilize height in our um, in our material and as you can see we have rock normal intensity, grass normal, uh, I forgot to name it correctly but grass intensity and as you can see we have parameters to change. So if I drag out a simple cube out like this and place it on here, see, we have a really nicely set up material already ready to go. You don't even need to do anything for this one. Uh, we can change it to be of a higher resolution. We can change it to be lower. We can change it to be 4K even if we wanted to. And we could expose a lot a lot of uh, parameters here so we can control the material completely so now i suggest not putting it to 4k because it's gonna be really slow but okay so we have it on 1k set up just just as fine and now what we want to do i want to show you that you can actually change intensities inside of the engine and it really helps with your materials because, for example, 40 in Substance Designer was completely a really good number to have a normal intensity on. But if I bump the normal intensity to 40 in this scenario, in Unreal Engine, sorry. As you can see, it looks really weird and it looks really not that natural. So we can change this to 30 and kind of experiment with it a little bit. Uh, even to maybe 20. I like 25, I think, so 25 works just fine. We can even experiment with grass uh, normal intensity. I think 2 is just perfect. So, yeah, this is how you actually import materials into Unreal Engine 4 using Substance Designer plugin. And I hope you liked the video and see you very, very soon. Bye. If you like this tutorial and would like to learn more about material creating in Substance Designer, consider checking out my Skillshare course down in the description. It is your go-to place to start learning more in-depth about creating materials inside Substance Designer and is also amazing for beginners that want to hop right into material creation. Also, if you use my link in the description, you get to watch the entire course entirely for free.